G'day guys, Jesse here from the True Footy YouTube channel. Hope you're all going well on this Monday morning. Today, I'm a little bit late on this bandwagon here. I'm going to be reacting to the AFL Evolution 2 official trailer. Now, I know other people have done this, but frankly, this is a good way for me to introduce the fact that I'm going to be making some AFL EVO content when the new game comes out. Now, this is something I wanted to do previously. I wasn't sure exactly how to do it, whether I'd do it on True Footy or my other channel, Jesse Thomas. Uh, but in light of there being no football to get us through this winter, or at least for the foreseeable future, I'm going to have to do it on True Footy. But frankly, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't decided what to do yet. Maybe a West Coast Eagles career mode, or, you know, like a single player Jesse Thomas. That would be pretty sick. But yeah, anyway, uh, obviously the story behind AFL Evolution 2 is that it was, I think, meant to come out a long time ago, but frankly, there's been several reasons to delay. Although, ironically, not coronavirus, right? Like, I don't think they've delayed it since coronavirus. <laughs> but either way, obviously, AFL games in general us as consumers are absolutely gagging for new games all the time we haven't really been spoiled for choice i think my favorite one was afl live with big ant and then they lost the license to wicked witch i believe uh which sucks because i'm a really big fan of big ant they make sick cricket games their rugby games look good uh, but nonetheless, we're going to be looking at Wicked Witch today. The thing about AFL games is that they won't get better unless you have several renditions of the same game in a row where they've actually got some money to sort of stockpile and develop it. They're always coming up with a new game from scratch. It's never going to be good. So hopefully this is the start or at least the continuation of something good. So in today's video, I'm just going to watch along with you the new trailer. I'm going to slow it down a little bit so that you can see what's going on. We can talk about it. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more cinematic. You're not getting any actual gameplay here but look let's just judge it on what we can see also just a little bit of nugget of info if you know who twisty3 is the youtuber i believe he actually helped work on this trailer which is pretty cool but anyway look let's have a look at the screen and we can see that this is the umpire there's quite a lot of detail here and quite a generous bulge going on i must say let's hit play here and that is good little razor ray holds it up to the crowd that looks pretty cool of course it slowed down all right let's have a little pause here and you can see that there is text on the banner i believe that is actually going to be a thing there's going to be different text each time you play i don't know how many different like versions they've got um i think several hundred i think they said uh, i'm not sure but you can see that the level of detail here is very good is that Cripps, Zach Fisher on the right there Roy Sloan looking very blonde and i think that looks like seedsman to me could be wrong Luke Parker for the Swan. So as you can expect, uh, there is quite a lot of good detail here as I pause on the broad MCG. That wasn't their weakness in the first game. It was gameplay issues, I thought, in terms of like handball and kicking, kicking, tackling. That sort of dynamic wasn't perfect. But the cinematic stuff was good, and I think it looked better even still here. And uh, if you look at the stadium here, that's a pretty perfect MCG. I remember in the Evolution 1 thinking that... Um, it, you, they had a really good sense of place with the stadiums. It really felt like I was playing at Patterson Stadium or it really felt like I was playing at Spotless, which is something I think games up to that point had failed to capture as effectively. But let's continue on going through here. Oh, that's new. You got the little uh, sparklers and fireworks as they run out. That's pretty cool. That sort of builds up to the hype. A little bit of a warm-up going here. Was that Neville Jetta? That's Scully on Stewart. So look at that. The detail there is actually very impressive, even if Tom Scully's eyelids look a bit fucking weird. All right, and that is Koch addressing the boys. I don't think that is a new animation. I think that is what it always was in the last game. Around the corner, is that Zebul at Blundstone Arena? I think that's... Is that new? Jeremy Howe taking a scream. Oh, the detail's good there. Ooh, a little bit of flash of some Eagles action. Connor Rosie looked good there. Luke Shuey, Paddy Cripps, and uh, is that Ed Kerno? So, yeah, look, as you can see the detail is really good there. As I just paused it in front of the wrong guy. Hang on, I'll go back here. Tim Kelly looks very good, and Shuey, my boys. Dustin Martin. Oh, Blitzarves gets made piss. Dusty's hair's a little bit old, but that's all right. I'm not too nitpicky. Buddy from range. Oh, mark of the year. Recreation. I love that. Gorn is taking that hard. Doherty. Oh, 
All right, now that is Daniel Rich coming up against... Is that Whitfield by the looks? All right, I who do you fancy for this contest, guys? I'm going to say Daniel Rich makes him piss. Oh, that is exactly what happened. Good call by me. Callum Ward with the screamer. So cinematically, looks really good. I think that's Norton by the looks. Paddy Cripps there. That's a really good shot of him. I believe the celebrations are kind of geared to what they're actually like in real life, and that, that looked familiar with Buddy going up there. Here, I believe you've got... Uh, is that dynamic weather? That's pretty cool. Dynamic, uh, like, time of day. Quite a bit going on here. This is a well-edited trailer, I will say, actually. The way it's cut and includes so many different teams. I really like that. These really do look like the players, which is a plus. Oh, that's a sick fend-off from Dylan Shield. Oh, uh, let's go back to this picket swivel here. Let's have a look. Look at that. I believe, and I've watched Twisty's video, he was the one who made this, that if you look up the score here, that was actually the score of the game at the time. That is incredible. I, I think it's Nick Haynes is the wrong player, but it doesn't matter. That's still an incredible effort to put that in. more going on. Walters with the screamer. Josh Kelly. He kind of looks a bit like Voldemort here, Gary Ablett. Paddy Cripps with the screamer, and that is the end of the trailer. Look, I gotta say, that was a pretty good trailer. Like, it, let's take it for what it is. It is merely a cinematic version of what we're gonna see. The gameplay is gonna be different, but if you liked AFL Evolution, well, there's a good chance it's going to be better in gameplay. I believe kicking and marking and stuff is better from what I've heard. But overall, I am really looking forward to this game, guys. As I said, we're all gagging for AFL content. Obviously, this is probably the best time for them to release AFL Evolution 2, considering we're all gagging for footy. And for me, obviously, it is going to be a source of content for my channel. Um, look, I'm not going to blast the channel with AFL Evo content, uh, but maybe like a weekly career mode update, which would be pretty good, I reckon. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of the video in the comments and the trailer. Are you excited as much as I am for this game? I don't know if I'd be as excited if there was football on, but nonetheless, I am still pretty keen to sink my teeth into it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.